Hi, and welcome to this clip looking at how to work out oxidation and reduction of elements from the equation you're given. It's done in the multiple choice format. So uh, it gives us an equation that contains a number of chlorine containing species, so it's a little bit more complicated than the normal type of redox equation you might see in the textbook. So let's start by assigning oxidation numbers and using the oxidation of the word that we know. So for oxygen, for example, um, unless it's combined with fluorine or in a peroxide, it is always minus 2. So therefore we can put minus 2 above the oxygen in each um, of the species that contains it. So now we can have a look at the answers, and some of the answers suggest that oxygen um, undergoes some redox activity. So uh, we can see that this oxidation number doesn't change, which suggests it doesn't undergo any redox activity here. So anything that suggests oxygen is involved in the redox reaction can be ignored. So look at B, for example, we can ignore that because it suggests that oxygen is reduced, but clearly it's not. Looking at C, it says it uh, disproportionates, or suggests that it disproportionates, it's both oxidized and reduced. You know, that doesn't happen either. In D, it says, oh, it's oxidized. We clearly have proven that that doesn't happen as well. So, although we can put A as the correct answer, it's worth having a look at uh, why it's the correct answer in the spirit of the question. So, although this wouldn't be required in answering the question, let's have a look at it anyway. If we look at the equation again, and this time put in all of the oxidation numbers of everything, and I've highlighted the chlorine in pink, you can see that it's um, reduced from plus 5 in HClO3 to plus 4 in ClO2. And it's also oxidized from minus 1 in HCl to 0 in Cl2. OK, so hopefully this has been a useful clip looking at both the technique involved in making what might seem like a difficult question a bit easier by elimination of many answers, but also exploring the oxidation and reduction going on in a slightly more complicated equation. OK, as always, thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.